Hello and welcome to Watches TV and we have two new very sweet timepieces to share with you today the Grubble Force GMT Quadruple Tourbillon quite a program but also the new version of the Balancier Contemporain just beautiful and I have to admit that it is always an immense pleasure to film uh, these amazing timepieces. So both watches are not new per se but are new interpretations of uh, models already seen but this seriously doesn't take anything away from sharing them with you today just a nice uh, treat for your eyes. So the latest uh, model released is this uh, new GMT coming now in a titanium case and you guys probably know that the GMT uh, by Rebel Force is one of my favorite timepiece ever. So when they introduced uh, this uh, quadruple tubing version back in 2019, I was already quite excited. But now with this new one, well, I can only say that I'm not far from being totally in love. So what's new with it? Well, as mentioned, the case is made out of titanium, making it much lighter. And for a piece that is not small, 46.5 millimeter in width and 17.45 in height, well, that makes quite a difference where you're lucky enough to wear it every day. And by the way, this uh, new edition will be limited to 11 pieces. So only 11 lucky guys, I guess. Coming back on this new case, well, it weighs a third compared to the previous model and it's naturally still asymmetric with the slight prolongation of the hour and minute dial on one side and, of course, on the other side with the case partially surrounding the iconic uh, globe feature, a clear and distinct uh, characteristic of all GMT models, a globe which uh, rotates on itself in 24 hours with the small opening on the side letting light shine on it and mimicking uh, the sun's source of energy like a very fancy day-night indicator, something made even more explicit with the 24-hour ring bearing white and black equal marker zones. Some other new design elements have been introduced, uh, such as the, the use of blue for the hour and minute dial ring and power reserve indicator, blue which is also used for the new rubber bracelet, and overall, well, this gives it a slightly more sporty feel to it. In terms of movement, it's still the same, but always nice uh, to come back on it briefly with these uh, double tourbillons set quite far away from each other, which are synchronized uh, thanks to the use of a spherical differential averaging their timing rate. And the reason I say double uh, tourbillon is that you have one 30 degree inclined cage rotating in one minute. And this one is nested, uh, so to say, in a second horizontal cage rotating on itself in four minutes. Thus, double tourbillon. And since you have two of them, well, then you get the name quadruple tourbillon. So this timepiece is, of course, uh, manually wound, a constant with uh, Grubble Force. It holds uh, 72 hours of power reserve and beats at 3 Hz. And to grasp the complexity of this movement, well, it is made out of 705 components and features 84 jewels. I mean, that's a lot. Okay, let's now talk about uh, the second timepiece uh, with the new version of the Balancier Contemporain. A very different watch and as its uh, name implies, this is not a tourbillon but a simple balance wheel which of course is not that simple, another constant of uh, Grubel Force. So not only is it uh, rather large, 12.6 mm, but it is magnificently held in place with this superb bridge where you can see and feel all the extreme finishing efforts of Grubel Force's team something which can be said about any parts of any Grubel Force timepiece, and I really mean any, even the ones that uh, you will never see being hidden somewhere in the movements. I mean, these guys' standards of excellence are really set all the way up there, a true benchmark for the entire industry for sure. Okay, back to the watch. And this one now comes in a 5N red gold case, and it is uh, their smallest piece uh, in their collection with a width of 39.6 mm and 12.2 in height. It also holds 72 hours of power reserve and beats at uh, 3 Hz too. Hour and minute dial at 2 o'clock, small second at 9, and a very elegant power reserve indicator with this uh, delicate hand pointing on this scale. So this watch is part of the collection, meaning that it's not limited, and though my heart leans towards the GMT, well, I have to admit that it is simply gorgeous and its size will make it much more wearable for my very small wrist. Okay, well, I hope uh, you enjoyed these uh, fantastic timepieces as much as I did. See you real soon. Until then, well, viva watchmaking! Thank you.